on another record for, uh, with Beyonce. Their record went number one. What? Yeah. What's the name of the record? Yeah, the Break My Soul. You did that? You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. Come on, man. I'm in love. <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. That, that, what do you think the, the biggest, uh, what do you think the big, like, one, what what is the biggest song that you, is it the Drake song that you've done thus yeah, that's far? Definitely my biggest. The biggest, records, cause, yeah. cause he different, bro. Like his stuff go number one soon as he come out. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. So I had two number one records <laughs> with Drake in one year back to back. Then I uh I co-produced on another record for um with Beyonce. That record went number one. What? Yeah. What's the name of the record? The Break My Soul. You did that. You won't break my soul. You hear this, man? Let me get it now. Let me get it now. Talk that talk, man. He yeah, black and mild, so he did that one. My name in there, bro. Credits in there. How did that. you even? She just picked it. See, bro, it's just God, dog. How did you get? Somebody suggested it. See, bro, it's just, just God. It's just God, dog. Wow, man, that's crazy, man. He got favor. A lot of favor. If you're doing Beyonce records, it, it's hard to get. And that was that was. During the Jay Z, yeah, that was yeah, yeah. That that, that hey, they, it's been a lot of eyes is on that. Hey. In order for that to happen, oh, it's being screwed now. We gonna do this one with him or this one with that. I got one. the record with Megan The Stallion, bro, from the Queen and Slim soundtrack. What the hell? Yeah, that was like number thirty, like thirty something on the on the billboards. <laughs> It was crazy. How did that one happen? You gonna give me some insight on well, any of these? I got two managers, bro. Like, and they they do their job well, bro. Uh, shouts out to J Will and, and Craig Bellis. How was that when you heard, you know, that you you and Megan was gonna be locking in? So, and do you know this beforehand? Because some people just make beats and then the person pick those beats. Or do you know this is gonna be going to Megan? This is gonna be going to so Beyonce? I stay true to I stay true to bounce music, bro. So I have I have a lane. Well, well, I done made it to the point where people gonna come and look for that. Mm. So they they looking for that. Like so, when I do when I do me, people coming to me for what I do. You feel me? Wow. And when yeah. they hear somebody else's song, I figure out that you did it, and yeah. they like the work. They are gonna come find you. Exactly. Wow, man. Just the, the people that you these names. These is multi platinum. These this is nothing to play with. Hey, I got a record with my partner Fred Bang. Fred Bang. I've been yeah. trying to get that. On my show, man. Yeah. Like, right. let me know how they work out. My guy, I can hear it in my ears, like yeah. right now. Yo. <laughs> See, Jizzle, Jizzle came home. I got with Jizzle. We got you like already about, got with Jizzle. Yeah, we got like about eight, nine records in, man. We, like before he went to jail, Vaughn had him in the studio already working with me. You feel me? So we was already working. Like he, the the day he went to jail, he was supposed to be in the studio with me. Mm. Yeah. That day. That day. That morning. Yup. And the boy, it, like I said, the, the the what's the difference in him then and now? I asked that question. The well, third, twelve uh, it's, years it's, it's later, a lot, bro. Like he got his head together now. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I I feel like he know what he want and and how to move now. You know what I'm but saying? But he was popping before he left. He had yeah. Ti. Him and Ti were running tough before oh, he yeah. left. He was popping. I ain't heard him with Tip, but Tip don't be on that music like he was before yeah, he left. For me, he trying to do the Tip on the comedian thing, Tip yeah. right what's now. What's the difference in BG music? Back then, compared to now, though, because he's grown, uh, but how has he grown in his music? I feel like what BG at now, I feel like he better. Honestly, I feel like he better. He he more woke. He more alive. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I feel like he, yeah, he back hungry for it because mm. he came out and and it's like he don't want to stop. And producing music for all these. Um, Big name artists, you don't get to meet a lot of these people, do you? Oh yeah. So you've met Beyonce, you've met Megan, you've met I all of met these. I met Beyonce. Yeah, I, I talked to Megan. I met, I met Megan. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does it really matter? Where was that check come? <laughs> it, it matters in a way because I don't. I like you know, like I told my managers, I don't like just sending beat packs. You don't guys. like that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I, I did that. I don't like that. But like, when that I check wanna, come though. Oh yeah, when that yeah, that, I ain't, I ain't mad at the check. <laughs> the checks gonna keep coming forever. Do you, you know, think you, you know can you can? It's easier for you to um, make music for a person when you meet them and really vibe with them rather than just not knowing them. Yeah, yeah, 
You can because I feel like when y'all in a room together, you y'all gonna get what y'all want. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Then you know, just sending music off, you gotta. I hope they f with it. I exactly. Hope they deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember when I did the Drake record and and I did it and we sitting in a room together, me him and Ford, and we listening to it and I'm like, I don't wanna look at nigga because if you don't like it, <laughs> I'm gonna feel some type of way. You know what, what I'm saying? And when he was vibing, I'm looking out the corner of my eyes, and he really he vibing to the shit. So I'm like, yeah, I got his ass. So mm -hmm. you saying the E40? Who, you, no, Drake. Drake. Oh, yeah. you you seen him dive into it? Yeah, yeah. I was in the studio both times. With him. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, yeah. Oh, I, I flew to Toronto the second time. Like, so when I did the first record, you know what I'm saying? He was like, I'm gonna give you another opportunity. He seemed like a nigga that a nigga yeah. could could be cool with if yeah, he, get, he if cool, he let bro. you in. Yeah. If you know, some niggas won't let you in. Yeah. I interviewed. They won't let you in. Then for the interview, I interviewed this one guy, and I'm not going to say his name because Boss Talk will not do that. You heard me? But I interviewed him, and almost at the end of the interview, that came like, damn, whatever you want to ask me. Right. But I was like, damn, I missed so much time, you know what I'm saying, trying to break you out of that, that shell, you know right. what I'm saying? And I don't get that. That's why I love interviewing niggas from New Orleans. Right. They don't come in. They come in like me. Yeah. It's easy to interview from New Orleans. I'm being honest. Yeah. Right. Cause they act like me. And I ain't even from no damn Louisiana. But it's the way y'all open up. It's right. the opening up part. I don't have to worry about it. Y'all come in like we ready to go. Right. You know what I'm saying? So so, I, I got a question about, um, okay, so you talk about Drake, that you've worked with Drake and stuff. You know, with Drake having, you know, his beef with Kendrick Lamar and uh -oh. stuff like that. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. um, I, I, my question is, since you're into the music, do you prefer for an artist to do like a quick diss to an artist or do you prefer for them to really sit down and give you quality beef, quality lyrics, even although it's a beef? See, bro, them, them two dudes on different planets. Like they, they on some, you know what I'm saying? Whatever happened to just f*** you, old ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't that no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they on some other shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh... I don't know, bro. It's yeah. crazy. To me, like, I feel, I don't even feel like it's no winner because it's like, I just feel like they just doing doing something different. Like, they, they trying to help hip hop out. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they, they bringing it back. When well, you read them comments, everybody's saying Drake winning compared yeah, to Kendrick. I'm saying Kendrick winning too. And I'm, really? I'm, I'm more of a Drake fan, not just because I work with him. You gotta understand, right. Drake, like, kind of oop in New Orleans, like, you know what I'm saying? He was with Young Money, you know what I'm saying? And, That's right. You know, his first mixtapes and shit like was like ah New Orleans you know right. what I'm saying so you know I'm, that's why I'm more of a Drake fan you feel mm. me but what do you think about like like when you see J. Cole come out and then he he pull his his beat his, his song back and say I didn't mean it I hate that bro because like I didn't mean he, it he the man bro like you know what I'm saying like I don't wanna do it he too highly respected for what he doing I just hated that he pulled out like that like I should wish he would've never did you wanna know let me tell you what it made me feel like Feel like when Tracy let me out the car on Boys in the Hood. No, oh, that's <laughs> bad, bro. That's bad, bro. I'm just telling you that. Was, yeah, let me out. Yeah, you remember that scene? Yeah. Uh. And I don't know, you know, I seen it coming when he was fighting the era. You remember yeah. when he was fighting there and that girl? He got him some though. Yeah, but, but <laughs> yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, it looked crazy. Yeah, it looked crazy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.